Six child care providers like daycare centers and preschools across our state are sifting through the Baker administration's new reopening guidelines just released yesterday. Beth Ward checked in with a popular preschool in East Long Meadow as she found out some very tough decisions may have to be made in order to keep the doors open. It's been really, really hard. It's been sad. It's been scary. It's been uh, really an emotional time for all of us and the kids and the parents as well. Marna Shields is the owner and director of Busy Bees Preschool in East Long Meadow. It's been tough, she says, since their school year was cut short by the coronavirus. She and her teachers gathered together socially distanced outside. Much of the talk centered on Governor Baker's new guidelines released Monday for child care programs. It's very difficult to digest. It's overwhelming. I definitely cried <laughs> after I read those because I really worry about our program and I want it to work. This is a parade held recently so teachers and staff could see all their students and families. This is a close-knit community and for little ones this is a hard reality to embrace. Busy Bees usually holds a popular summer program but Shield says it's just not possible this summer with the new guidelines which include temperature checks for all students and staff upon entry, children over the age of two encouraged to wear masks, groups are limited to 10 children and two staff, children must remain in the same group with the same teachers or providers. I'm definitely very concerned that in order to operate, you depend on a certain amount of children that can come to your center and you need that income in order to pay the rent and the teachers. And now they're telling us to cut our numbers by almost in half. Shield says, of course, it's all about safety, but the reality is the new rules will make it hard for many to meet expenses. A lot of these centers, uh, especially the ones that are full day centers, these parents need to go to work and they're putting a lot of pressure and, and a lot of rules and, and, and new standards that are going to make it virtually impossible to allow families to all go back to work and that's really scary. She says she'll have to get creative to keep the doors open and is so appreciative of so much support. We have felt so loved and it really just makes my heart feel so full to know how much they care about us and miss us and we miss them so much. This has been really hard for us. Beth Ward, Western Mass News.